So, Jordy, uh, we got a lot of explaining to do. Uh, Spider-Man turned into a ghost. And... You guys take it from here. We learned that Matt, we learned that Matt Mercer is in every game ever. And we learned that 90% of Spider-Man's villains can be summed up with an experiment went wrong. I'm working on that. Uh-huh. I, I just gotta leave. Usually the experiment is their own damn fault, but, you know. Don't you mean... But it always goes wrong. To me! We're spider -Man. Yes! Devil oh, God. <laughs> it's it's nice back. Oh, God. Actually, I realized it's perfect, considering the fact we're literally the ghost. Yeah. I am the knight. Uh, yeah, we should probably change out of this. This is silly. By the way, I just realized, that is the <laughs> only sick. thing you could ever compare, okay, um... Good. You could ever compare Spider-Man's rogues to Batman there? rogues with. You got a pen? They all yeah. they're they have Dr. always been created okay. due to their own failed experiments. What's his deal? I was yeah, hoping I... you could tell me. Uh, the penguin really should have looked to a loftier animal to try and become before the experiment. Haha. Uh -huh. Okay, some of them, not all of them. Kind of, kind of like, <laughs> penguin is kind of like kingpin. <laughs> not all of them, but a good majority, like Green Goblin, Doctor Octopus, man, Tombstone. Man, your man, your man, man, your city's morale must be in the freaking like gutter. Oh, by the way, check out this little uh, Easter egg. Yep. It's Aww. Luckjaw. It's Luckjaw of the Inhumans. Instead of the... Instead of the, uh... Wait a minute. The gold bowl of, uh... I think that is actually a reference. I think that might be a reference to, uh... Message from to... Fuck. What's her name? Oh, by the way, Shit, real quick. Another, another Catwoman thing. Yes. You mean Black Cat? Why replace missing limbs with Either or in this case. It's Otto. People who lost an arm understandably want it back. Again, uh, this is what I do like what they're doing with his motivation here. Otto right now is after something more than just what he was doing. He's getting very ambitious. Yes, however, when you want more, you become a supervillain in the Spider-Man universe. Pretty much. Actually, <clears throat> also, yes, Jordy, we have found another Black Cat spot. I'm sorry, I just realized... Always, I just realized something. Like, like, if you want more, you end up becoming a Spidey villain. I, Pray we don't add Bell or Ariel into this universe. Hey, oh, no. God. Or Jasmine. Also, do not, also, do not mind. That was just me focusing the camera a little bit too long on that ghost butt. I need to stop staring at his ghost butt. Spider butt. Spider butt. <laughs> also, also, Yuri wants us to look at some weird uh, bomb box thingy. On a Check rooftop. Aw. There's the magic word. Okay. Just had to say please. You know what? Project. Actually, I oh, want Jesus. in the Spider Verse sequel for so for the uh, father to Play actually time. figure out. Yeah. Wait, for the father no. to find out that Miles is uh, Spider Man and to have conversations like that. Like, like look, I don't kind of want to waste my troops on what could possibly be a just a joke. What's the magic word, Dad? I was too late to stop please here. Please go check it for me. Thanks. And I and I get to stay up and I get to stay up past ten tonight. Nine thirty. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You're pushing. You're pushing your luck, Miles. I, and I. He's like. Wait. And I get to eat. And I get to eat candy for a month. Miles, you're pushing it. Okay. Fine. God. And he's all like. And then meanwhile, as he hangs up, he's like. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't push that. I would have settled for candy for two weeks. Five. I, I, I really did not need my men to get hurt. We have five backpacks left. <laughs> yep, we're doing Only pretty good. Only five, and, holy shit. And we're, and we're down to, like, I think three to four Black Cat locations, and this should be the last Fist construction site. So let's go rain some hellish justice. Oh, so that last one we that last one raided wasn't the last one. Dang it. I, you, you, you'll, you'll get a special little dialogue when you've gotten all of them. Uh, okay. What else is new? I'm sure that sniper didn't think that was suspicious. Really? That was in the middle of the open, and they just see a guy webbed down to the floor, and they don't yeah. think that's suspicious. Oh, oh God. I recognize, I recognize those webs. The, sp the sniper's red laser dot was right over that guy as he got pulled up, and they didn't see anything in the scope. Oh, the sniper got Vinny. No, Vinny. <laughs> well, the scope, yeah, well, the scope can see it. Well, <laughs> well, the scope can see it, but can the man looking at the scope see it? I need to I don't know. You know... Bringing up something in the last video, I need to check if uh, Crispin is actually in this. I, I mean, considering, considering the kind of game we're playing here, I wouldn't be surprised if he was in there somewhere. No, he's not. He's not. Oh. No, Crispin's mm. not in this That's... game, which is weird because he's he he has been in a lot of Spider-Man shit, a lot of Marvel. Was, yeah. Shit, actually. Right. I think there was um. 
we were when we were talking when, when James was talking about the can the guy hear it on the end of, on the other end of the scope. I saw this really dumb like shit post image where it was it was Beaker, the Roadrunner, and R two D two all in a con all like trying to have a conversation, and then you see a truck beside them, and the and the caption is the tragic part is that none of them could hear the truck backing up. You guys so much beeping me. I gotta check that. So much beeping. Beep me. Me. So yeah, well, we're so. So yeah, to sum it up, Jordy, we uh, after that huge event, we started looking into Fisk's stuff, uh, Fisk's, uh, the demon stuff. We know Mr. Lee's behind it as Mr. Negative. Uh, uh -huh. We learned we learned that he's working with uh, Tombstone, not a sissy one from Spider Verse, but a real Tombstone. Uh -huh. He's the a guy making all of his vehicles. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Okay, hey, look, uh, can, sorry about that, buddy. Can, can you tell me this later? I'm kind of busy beating the shit out of people. <laughs> I, I just, again, we're just going to say this real quick. If in Guardians 3, they do not make some, especially now that the internet has maybe hopefully proven some validity to it. If in Guardians 3, they do not have some sort of remark about Aunt Nevi, I will be very cross. Sorry, say that again. I was, I was listening. If in Gar... Okay, if in Guardians of the Galaxy 3 there is not even a single remark or mention of Aunt Nebby. Ah, uh, yeah, no, I. Uh, uh, yeah, I'd Aunt Nebby. I'd be so pissed off. This is only acceptable if you're all showing up in class. Maybe in deleted scenes? <laughs> no, I. Maybe? I, not going to lie, I absolutely love uh, his remarks here. Theory. His jokes. Oh, yeah, he has like... a lot of fun. Oh no! Oh, I, oh no! He has some fun. He has some fun. Was like, oh, you guys are. Oh, you guys are late to the party. I'm gonna have a. Oh, it's like, oh, latecomers. I'm gonna have a yeah, lot of tardy and, notices for I you. I just like the uh, more of them, guys. Fisk is in jail. You could just bail. I know it's fun. They they really they really the morale is high. They believe in what they do. Oh yeah, yeah. and that guy's dead. I mean, and, what JJ said really does run true. Like. Now that the big man's dead, it just leaves everyone else to, to uh, just take whatever they can. He's not dead. Though. I want to be the next. Oh, well, no, no, no. Out of, just out arrested. Of out of the picture. Just and for now. Yuri. Oh, God. This should be the, and this should be the last one, I think. Maybe. Definitely. Possibly. Hmm. An anonymous tip where everybody is webbed up. Oh, right, we're done. There it is. Every one of them working overtime to bring <sighs> Well, now he's gonna have a tough time keeping his operation running. Jeez, it's finally, it's only like good for been a week. Are you sure it's oh, good lucky. for New York? Because I you've enjoyed yourself. Oh, oh joy. Funny story. Hello, oh, Fisk. Like the buildings. Then you'll be shocked to hear that there were shenanigans of the. How's he variety. calling us? CLDR. He has his sources. I have other sources of revenue. Really? Yeah. But you've inconvenienced me, and there will be consequences. I, I do think. I do I think he's long. doing a fine job with. With uh, Kingpin. I should yeah, not the guys who sworn Travis. to fight it out for the privilege. Travis <laughs> is. Travis is a good. Yeah, let's go uh, classic. Ooh. 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 That's cool. We're going way back to the old 90s PS1 game. Yeah. Travis, oh, I like that. Travis is, uh, like, really good at this. However, and I'm sorry, I know, I know you'll disagree with me, Steve. But I still think that Leah Shriver is one of the best teams. The <laughs> From like, Spider Verse, he had the mob style, the mob style, and the intimidation factor. And I don't know, Travis sounds like he's kind of trying too much. Get up the goddamn just, building! Well, I was, well, I didn't want to go up here because I. Uh, Dude, I cannot interrupt JJ when he's talking. Oh. Also, also because sometimes if I do something like events like this, I'm always worried that some dialogue will interrupt him. But yeah, this is the vintage suit. Uh, if you look in the upper right, its power up is to make quips, and that's it. That's all. <laughs> all that's you do all is, is. You, you just it just smack talks people. It has a very short cooldown. I can do it whenever I do, want. Ba basically, can you cue that clip of Falcon from Civil War? I don't know if you've been in a fight before, but there's usually not this much talk. All right, sorry, my bad. Ooh, who says? Uh, I'll show you it later. But yeah, you'll know when to put it in. Okay. Yeah, Hi, I'm Mr. Negative. Like I like to suck dick. <laughs> Hi. Uh... Hi, I'm Spider-Man. It, it just it just becomes one of those like soundboards. Also, once again, the red lasers are just Sable's men being the worst shots ever. Again, they're fucking stormtroopers. Appreciation on the Sable guys is all the reward I need. Or is that constipation? Possibly. 
Well, also the reason why I became the classic Spider-Man is because we're about to do some classic Spider-Man side quest mission junk. Oh, oh boy. Looks military What's great. this? Weird. Hi, what do you think is what do you think is your favorite classic Spider? What the? What the? Okay, why does he look like Darth Vader? I don't recognize he looks that like skull. Skeletor. That he looks yeah. like Skeletor. That is Taskmaster. Can you stop the bomb? Ah. Oh. The, he is one of my favorite villains that is not actually a Spidey rogue, and, which is interesting. Yeah. Like, they, they, every single villain in this is a Spidey rogue, with the exception of him. So what Taskmaster does in this game is he will He's put challenges around the map and you'll unlock them throughout the game. I think there's like, what, 12, I think maybe, and... They they all they have they have different things like this one is we have to race to different bombs, grab them and you know web them up so they don't destroy. There's one where you have to chase a drone around a city. There's one where you have to be stealthy. You have to be you have to stealthily take it someone out or you have to defeat a. It's just a normal mook rush like, and the uh, they do rate you on your time it takes to complete and uh, your accuracy and once you get a certain number of metal points. Spoilers, you'll have to fight Taskmaster, do it one more time, and the and the challenge's side quest is done. Ow! Oh, ah. so you said that's, that Taskmaster is not known to being a Spidey villain. Like, who's he commonly associated with? Captain America. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, no, he, uh, his whole... He is a, ah, he is a Cap, Black oh, so Widow, close. and a few others. I need to check. His whole uh, hype, what's Taskmaster's big power-up again? He... Uh, hang on, I was asking him, sorry. No, sorry, I was just saying hype just because he's said yeah, stuff for a little while. Well, Matt was in the middle of explaining, so go ahead. All I'll say is that it's not a power. It's just a... It's just a... He has cognitive... You, you know what, Steve? It's you, a trained... Like, it, it, yeah, go ahead, please. It's a, it's a trained ability of his. Basically, he can be able to read body motions to predict when an enemy does next. What the hell? What is you know, it's that? A, it's, a, it's a costume party, and one of, and one of Osborne's chief scientists is in that photo. Which means we gotta go to a costume party to find him. Well, good thing okay. we're in a costume already, so we'll f yep. totally fit in. Well, it won't be till the next part. I'm sorry, man. Don't but um, but yeah, but yeah, it's oh here, black cat. But yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's like he is like a super like stealth. Yeah. He's, he has like he has like a suit like we're talking super photographic <laughs> memory. We're like if like if Captain America did a certain move where he'd do like a roundhouse an kick twist or whatever, then Taskmaster would be able to use that exact same move house. against him. Basically put, he's Shang Tsung. Uh, kind of. Huh. Yeah, no. He, okay, actually, that's that is something I forgot to detail. Like, not only can he be able to like read opponents, he can also be able to like study, you know, just their, the way they move, and he can replicate it. I think the way to describe it is that he has like photographic reflexes. Yeah, basically. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. and he's and, not. Um, but now, but the, the thing to know is that he's not as strong. As oh cool vulture uh, graffiti, yeah. he's yeah, not cool. as strong as Captain America, but he can very. But it's very quick. He he could, he could like always like overwhelm Captain America with so many different styles and moves exactly. that he couldn't mm -hmm. react to. In fact, that that's why uh, that's why I personally hope that he's the villain in the Black Widow movie because mm -hmm. uh, oh side quest because one thing people want to see like one of the things that I uh, like. Basically, I forgot exactly who said it, but like a good bookend to that movie would be Natasha oh, quote unquote fighting well, herself. Here. I should examine the train which that could happen. Which that could happen with Taskmaster. Yep. Also, we're going. Also, this is a series of quests that won't amount to much until a later part. Uh, but there. But now that we've been introduced to Tombstone, there is actually a little side quest where we can take down his uh, operations, which is again huh. entirely optional. It just seems like there's a lot of optional stuff involving the uh, villains. Oh, it's but but I'd like that. I'd like the idea of this. I'm very much. I don't think. I think we've already talked about this. If not, then I, I guess I'll still open up the conversation again. It, what other Marvel superhero would you like to see a game like this, like this open world kind of like action stuff, like work with? Hmm. Ah, good question. I mean, we uh... technically already got something with the Hulk, like way back when. True. I wouldn't mind them redoing that, to be honest. Yeah. I mean, I, honestly, I, considering that, like, this this era of remakes, which, you know, we hate it when it's done the movies, but do the exact same double damn thing the video games were a-okay with it, considering that we're now going into licensed games, you know, with the Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bomb remake, I would mm -hmm. not put it past them to maybe consider doing a remake of Ultimate Destruction. That'd be nice. 
Uh, I also would not mind... Uh, okay, now we're going to follow that tracking signal where Tombstone's uh, vehicle is. But I also would not mind... Um, I mean, I would have loved if they did something for Iron Man, but already gain that with that VR game, which I'm kind of... I'm kind of, like, lukewarm about right now. Because I don't want it to be VR exclusive. I would love a, I would love a game like this where I'm Iron Man flying around the city. Yeah, they can make the flying controls nice and, like, feel great to jettison around, I would love you that. You know what I want? Mm. You, you'll mm. all hate me because I constantly bitch about, but Ms. Marvel. Not oh, that'd this. be a good idea. Ms. Marvel. I, I Kamala think, Khan. No, I, yeah, all I, I know, yeah. like, I don't know why you think... It's funny that you use the word bitch about it because I've never really heard you, like, really complain about it. No, I, no, I, know I have you, not. I, I know you're fact, a huge fan of it. No, it's the fact that I won't shut the fuck up about Kamala Khan and she's my favorite there it is. hero. There. No, I think That's it's fine. fine. I think I think it's fine, and I think the tone of like, okay, just gonna be honest here. Let's just be honest with ourselves. She kind of became not only was she you know kind of the new Miss Marvel, but her attitude and her, the way her stories are the way her stories and interactions are are set up. She kind of became the new Spider Man when Spider Man became too mainstream. Uh, where much. she has this, where she where she has this whole like you know friendly neighborhood. Like she helps out her family, she helps out her friends, and kind of the the difference is that. Spidey was it Spidey started his career in a time when heroes weren't such a big thing, with the exception of the MCU, of course. But Kamala, she started yeah, when I... heroes are such a big thing. She she is a superhero second, fangirl first. Like her gang down. Chemical containers. Yeah. But yeah, she she is a. Uh, Looks like they came from the Alchemax planet. <laughs> actually, like, like, why are they scrubbed clean? Uh, we're actually engineers who want this city to be cleaner. We were just cleaning up ourselves. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, sorry. But yeah, no. Yeah, but, don't worry. Again, she's a fangirl first, hero second. Like she will always fangirl about stuff first. Up, oh, Nelson and Murdoch. Nelson and Murdoch. Hey. Nice. What's that? What is the red poster say? Eviction or something? I don't know. Could be eviction. Yeah. In case you're wondering, Damn, Nelson, is it? Nelson Murdoch is uh, the law firm for Daredevil. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Did Logan have to be right back? Or? Sorry. Yeah. Dang it, he left yeah, us on the dust again. But anyway, I was gonna say, um, I guess this one, this choice is a little bit, uh, Different from what you Venom guys. You. Uh, no, 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 no! I wasn't. Like, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't seen the Fantastic Four in a game in a while. Ado, yeah, not since, I don't think not since the, the last movie time. Games. Yeah, I was about to say. I think that the game at the movie adaptation games are like the last time they've ever really started front and center in a game, and I wouldn't mind them changing that. Yeah, same here. Because yeah, I really like the Fantastic be Four, the first uh, movie series. You know, I, I'm actually one of those people that hope that the uh, that the Avengers game is based in the same universe as this so that we can get an established universe. Actually, I'm pretty sure it is. Isn't that, yeah. kind of, I remember, isn't that the general idea? Yeah, well, my thing is that, like, I remember because, slight spoiler, they mention at some point here that the Avengers are busy doing something on the West Coast, and the thing with the Square game is that they're having, like, this big thing in San Francisco, and where's well, San Francisco at? Can I actually explain something with that? What is that? Go ahead. A lot of people thought that was the reference, that that was the big thing uh, that they're hinting at in this game. It's actually just a reference to the fact that Insomniac is on the West Coast. Um, uh, is, in fact, literally people asked them, and they were just like, no, that that actually wasn't our intention. You're kind of looking a little too much into it. Uh, oh, it's wow. very, and, and that's the part where I'm like, I'm sorry, at what point did you remember you were making a Marvel game in the year, in the years where Marvel has probably the most, like, in-depth and most, like, interwoven like, most interwoven cinematic universe in history yeah. and you're saying that we're looking a bit too far into references and connections with your game yeah though no, i i bet that is officially published 
and produced I, by the studio. I, Not to mention, as, hasn't Marvel themselves said like they've been trying to make a thing where they're making like another like a they're pretty much making their own video that. game universe at this point. Yeah, and I would love that. But yeah, no. Matt, I, Matt, go ahead, Matt. Yeah, that was that was the reason why they did the reference. I bet they'll change it to. I bet in the game, like in the new game, they'll say that was the reference. But who knows? Also, isn't that game? Doesn't that game have like a five-year time skip? Yes, but yeah. but again, that would be the perfect way to account for any like bottles that happened between this game and well, that my game. My thing is that like, like you say no. that the time skip only happened nope. like after the big event at San Francisco. You could very right. well say that like that big explosion happened during the events of this game. Yeah, so or so just the end. next Spider-Man would be based five years into the future. You no, in that. fact, no. Again, hear me out. It would. That's why it would seem so perfect to have a five-year skip. Is the five-year skip would allow a Spider-Man game to take place right after those events, but over here on the East Coast, showing what happened perhaps during a time during those five years. Okay. At any time throughout them. By the way, I still that, hope so. That's why I feel like. Is the main character. I've heard that that is the case. Like a lot of people say that the person narrating that trailer does seem very much like Kamala. Exactly. Be cool. Uh, which again, I hope in that game that she's. Still the fan group. Playable. Because that's the thing. That's the reason why Kamala is my favorite hero. So, she is a fan girl well, first. That's, well, I've said well, I could see... Oh, jeez. Well, I oh, could boy. see that. So basically, she's you if, she, if, if you were a superhero. <laughs> honestly, yeah. I'll, no, honestly, you're, I'm, I'm, I'm nodding my head. That is exactly what she is. And it's great. It's lovable. It's endearing. Mm -hmm. it's, Unlike me. I... I no, you're fine. Also, but but I think that would actually work for the sake of the story is like in a time where the Avengers feel like they let everyone down, I think basically their biggest fan, maybe that could be the motivation. She's trying to bring them back. Yeah, she, mm -hmm. she they need a positive force. And thus five years MK later, she's like, police. no, this is like, and so it's, I don't know why I took the five years, but maybe she's like, maybe she's like, you know, kind of like, I don't know, like, yeah, you see where I'm going. Like maybe she's the the people trying to bring back the Golden Girls or something. Golden Girls. <laughs> you know Golden what I mean? Girls. The Golden Girls. I Great. love that. You know what I mean? Her biggest task, bringing back Betty White to Bette Midler. <laughs> you, you, was you, it you Bette Midler about that. in that show? I don't remember. I don't know. I Betty but... White was. But, I know yeah, that Betty White that, but... Yeah. but yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you in the next part where... Wait, well, hang on, hang on. I'm getting some weird interference here. Wait, someone's taking control of the signal!